Atherosclerosis is narrowing or hardening of the arteries due to plaque. Its natural home remedies include taking garlic, adding turmeric to your diet, eating spinach, taking beans, eating salmon, adding fish oil to your diet, eating ginger, drinking green tea, and eating hawthorn. What is atherosclerosis? The narrowing or hardening of the arteries due to plaque formation is called atherosclerosis. The plaque that accumulates in the arteries is a waxy substance made of lipids. What happens is that the plaque forms in the coronary arteries and narrows them down. As a result, the blood flow reduces and results in life-threatening conditions. The cells of the heart do not get enough oxygen, and that leads to a stroke or a heart attack. Symptoms include angina, anxiety, vomiting, coughing, and feeling faint. Atherosclerosis can also occur in the carotid arteries which can cause symptoms such as headaches, dyspnea, weakness, and facial numbness along with paralysis. That's because the carotid arteries supply blood to the brain, and if that is affected, it can lead to a stroke and the rest of these symptoms. The disease may also affect other parts of the body. Where the blood may not flow to areas like liver or the reproductive organs, this is called the peripheral vascular disease. The symptoms include hair loss, erectile dysfunction, and weakening of the area. When atherosclerosis affects the renal arteries, it can cause swelling in the hands, reduced appetite and an increased renal release, which increases the blood pressure significantly. When plaque forms in the blood vessel it starts by pushing downwards, and as it grows it starts pushing upwards as well. If the plaque keeps growing the blood vessel becomes narrower making it hard for the blood to flow. In case the plaque keeps growing it can rupture and form a clot, which may entirely stop blood flow. Atherosclerosis can be a result of a diet that's rich in fats and cholesterol. Other reasons include a sedentary lifestyle, aging, or stress. It is diagnosed by checking cholesterol levels or through Doppler ultrasound, which helps in finding blockage in the arteries, if any. It is treatable through a complete lifestyle change along with medicines and surgery. If the problem is not too severe, you can also deal with the problem with these home remedies. 9 Home Remedies for Atherosclerosis 1. Garlic. Garlic contains allicin, which is compound that has been found to lower LDL cholesterol levels. Garlic can also reduce triglycerides by 20% in your body. The reduction of triglycerides also stops more plaque from forming inside the blood vessels. Garlic also has the ability to stop oxidation of cells in the arteries so that they do not suffer damage and certain compounds in it can also dissolve blood clots. 2. Turmeric. This magical powder of southeast origins contains curcumin. It is eight times stronger than vitamin E against oxidization. It prevents damage to the walls of blood vessels, strengthens them and improves blood circulation in the arteries. Turmeric has been used in Indian medicine to heal wounds, but it can also reduce cholesterol, serum, lipids, and formation of blood clots. 3. Spinach. Greens are always good, even the color has a soothing effect on the ice. Spinach, however, is a vegetable that is very good for your heart health. It is a very nutritious vegetable that can lower blood pressure. It contains selenium, beta-carotene, and manganese that fight against atherosclerosis. It also contains neoxanthin and violoxanthin, which are anti-inflammatory compounds that maintain the health of your blood vessels by fending off inflammation. 4. Beans. To make sure that your heart is healthy and functioning normally, you need to make some lifestyle change such as letting go of the fast food and embracing a more natural diet. Beans are really good for you. They pack a lot of nutrients and do not have any harmful fats. If you prepare them the right way, they can be a very delicious and satisfying meal. Most beans have a rich potassium content which means that they can lower blood pressure. They do so by dilating blood vessels which, as a result, decreases the strain on your entire cardiovascular system. 5. Salmon. If your heart is in a risky position, it is advisable that you avoid eating meat as much as possible. The reason is that the proteins and other nutrients found in beans and vegetables are easier for your body to break down. While most meats are a bit too much for your body, salmon is a very good way to make sure you are healthy. It has a good balance of HDL and LDL cholesterol along with a wide range of minerals such as potassium, selenium, choline and pantothenic acid that are good for you. The potassium in it can reduce the strain being put on the cardiovascular system by relaxing the blood vessels, which is why it is also called a vasodilator. 
Just be careful about the mercury content of the fish and how much of it you can take without any harmful side effects. 6. Fish oil. Many people have the misconception that all fats are bad, which is wrong. Our body needs certain good fats that make sure that all the functions work well. Your body needs a certain balance between the omega-3 fatty acids inside it. Fish oil contains a high concentration of omega-3 fatty acids which can rebalance the cholesterol levels in your cardiovascular system. It also prevents the buildup of plaque in our blood vessels which is the main cause of atherosclerosis. It also reduces the chances of blood clots, a stroke or a heart attack. 7. Ginger. Ginger is a very powerful spice against high LDL cholesterol levels, thick blood, and platelet aggregation. It also lowers blood pressure and prevents hardening in arteries. Consider bringing it in your diet for a healthier heart. 8. Green tea. Green tea has various health benefits. Amongst them is its antioxidizing power. It prevents cell damage in arteries due to free radicals. It also contains polyphenols that prevent cholesterol from entering the intestines. 9. Hawthorn. The fruit has strong antioxidant properties that protect the vessels against the formation of plaque. It may also help in lowering high blood pressure and high cholesterol. It makes the heart stronger and is a good substance to fight against atherosclerosis.